Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So you might remember a couple of months ago, I think it was around end of April, start of May time, I did a spring capsule wardrobe video and you guys seemed to love it. And I've had a couple of messages on Instagram recently asking if I could do an updated version for summer. So I thought that is what we could do today. Um, now I don't want this to just be a repeat of my previous video because I do think quite a few of the pieces would transition really nicely into your summer capsule wardrobe as well. Um, so I am going to do this one slightly differently and rather than show you one um, specific item for every piece I want to talk about, I'm going to actually break it down into categories. So for some categories, I might show you a few different pieces, just so you've got a few different styles that you could choose between, um, and just so there's more variation. So that being said, the first category I'm going to start off with is an absolute classic, and that is your summer dress. Um, so I'm going to start off with the most casual option, and I do have four different dresses to show you. Um, so the most casual, I would say, is the smocked bodice dress. Um, this one is from Amazon Fashion, and it is a, a new in piece in my wardrobe. Um, if any of you are fellow Lydia Millen and Josie subscribers, then I imagine you will have already seen this dress. Um, because they definitely influenced me to buy it. Um, so this has a ruched smocked bodice with a square neck and puff sleeves um, and then it goes down into a midi length. Um, I'd say this is kind of like a lightweight cotton material and it comes in a good few different colours. Um, so you should definitely be able to find something to suit your style. Um, and for me, a smocked dress is such an essential in my summer wardrobe. Um, this is kind of like my go-to everyday summer dress and a really easy throw-on piece. And then the second style of dress, I would say it would be worth considering adding to your summer capsule wardrobe is the shirt dress. Um, which is what I have on today. Um, now for me, I would say the shirt dress is slightly smarter compared to the um, smocked bodice dress. And so I think it works really well for those slightly dressier occasions. Um, for example, I think if you work in an office environment, then this would be the perfect piece to wear um, during the summer months. Um, but likewise, I think it would work really well for lunch and shopping um, or maybe like a garden party or just, you know, one of those slightly dressier occasions that tend to pop up throughout summer. Um, so the one I have on today is from Massimo Duty, um, and if you have watched some of my previous videos, um, you might remember this piece because I have spoken about it in a couple of recent videos. Um, so this one is a 100% linen dress. Um, it's very lightweight. You've got these really nice um, kind of like pearly buttons going down, which again, just adds to that dressier feel. Um, and then I love the fact that it has a tie waist detail. So you can really cinch yourself in and just emphasize your waist and break up the dress a little bit. Um, now, again, this is a midi length and you'll notice that all of the dresses I have on the rail are a midi length. Um, just because I'd say a midi length is my preference and it's what I tend to gravitate towards. Um, I also think a linen fabric is ideal for summer. Um, again, it's just so lightweight and just looks really relaxed whilst still being very put together. And I think you can't go wrong with a classic white dress for summer. And to be honest, I'd say it wouldn't be a capsule wardrobe without one. So the next style, which is a real go-to for me in the summer, is the kind of like ribbed very finely knitted midi dress. Um, both of these are from The Drop, which is an Amazon fashion brand. Um, and I thought I would show you these two because obviously they are different styles, um, but I love both of them equally. Um, so the first one, I'll just pop that down. Um, the first one is a higher neck. This is like your typical kind of racer back style, which is a shape that I find really flattering. Um, so this came in so many different colors, 
but I am really loving green at the minute, which I'm sure will show through as we go through the pieces on the rail. But to be honest, when it comes to a capsule wardrobe, I mean, I said in the last video, but I think it's really important to kind of stick to a family of tones that really work together. Um, so I have brought in quite a few green pieces. To be honest, I think I might even have gone a little bit overboard on the green front. Um, but I just think it pairs so nicely with your warmer toned beiges and obviously with white and also with tan accessories, which I just absolutely adore in summer. Um, but yeah, anyway, back to this dress. Um, so you've got that high neck racer back um, style neckline and then it is a midi dress um, with a slit up one leg. Um, I love this kind of style because it's one of those very fluid dresses that really contours your shape as it goes down past your kind of waist and your bum and then it flows out slightly at the bottom. Um, I find those kind of styles really flattering and I think they look so chic. Now this one I think could be easily dressed up or dressed down and um, you could wear this with some tan flat sandals and a basket bag. Um, during the day or you could also dress it up with some heels and a clutch bag maybe a blazer over your shoulders for the evening and I think it's just a really versatile one to have in the wardrobe and then the second midi dress from Amazon fashion is very similar and um, this one is just a scoop neck and then I'd say this one is slightly shorter in length um, so it's perfect for those of you who are fellow petites. Now this one is a ribbed material, which I guess you could consider to be a little bit more casual. Um, but because it's so finely ribbed and it is quite a slinky fabric, um, I do still think this works dressed up. Um, but likewise, I think you could definitely dress this one down, um, like I said before, with some flat sandals. Or I also think a linen shirt over the top of a midi dress like this works beautifully and um, you could either wear it open or you could tie it in a knot at the front and so I think this would be a really nice piece to take away on holiday and um, because you can wear it both in the day and in the evening too so I actually meant to mention this when I first started talking about dresses but I wouldn't say that you need all four of these different styles in your capsule wardrobe. Um, just find what works for you and what you would wear the most and run with that. Um, but that being said, I do think that they all serve different purposes and all work for different occasions. Um, so this one, for example, I would say this is definitely your occasion wear dress. Um, this would be absolutely perfect as a wedding guest option um, but if you're really dedicated to the capsule wardrobe cause I think it's important that all of the pieces that you have in your wardrobe are able to be worn for um, several different occasions and um, so that's why I have opted for a slip like satin dress um, as the occasion wear option um, because I think there are so many different ways that you can style this and I will get into that um, but just to show you to start off with, um, this one is a very simple slip dress from a brand called, I think it's pronounced Reeve the Label. And they are an Instagram brand that design the most beautiful dresses. Um, so this one has quite a high neck. Um, with these simple spaghetti straps and then it has the most beautiful low back detail and um, these little straps come off and um, so you can wear it crossed at the back as well or you can just wear it with the very open scoop back um, these straps are adjustable too which is great and um, again this is quite a fluid dress um, and why I think this will be a good one to include in your capsule wardrobe is because not only does it work for um, like dressier occasions like weddings um, you could also take it away on holiday because it's so lightweight it literally weighs nothing um, you could scrunch this up into your hand luggage and it wouldn't take up any space at all um, but not only that I think you can really dress down a dress like this as well and um, if you follow me over on Instagram um, you might remember that I did a styling reel with this dress and um, so I styled it with a white linen shirt tied over the top 
um, a basket bag and some sandals for a beachy holiday look. And then I also actually styled it with a white t-shirt over the top. Um, I'll do a little cutaway which shows you, but essentially you just need a piece of elastic. So I used a elastic bra strap from one of my strapless bras. And basically you want to tie that around your waist um, which then enables you to tuck a t-shirt up into the elastic. Um, so basically it looks like you are wearing a satin slip skirt with a t-shirt tucked in, um, but you don't have to buy another item and you don't have any of that bulkiness like you would if you were to actually tuck a t-shirt into a skirt. Um, so yeah, I think that's a really good way to um, make your slip dress work for lots of different occasions and I think it makes it worthy of being a capsule wardrobe piece. So moving on to tops and I'm sure it will come as no surprise that I am including a white linen shirt in my capsule wardrobe. Um, if you watched my spring video, you will have seen that I went for a cotton shirt um, but as we come into the summer months, I always opt for linen. Um, I just think it is the most perfect fabric for summer. And I think it takes the classic cotton shirt from being quite a smart and tailored piece um, to very much a um, relaxed and casual piece um, when it's in linen. Um, so this one is from Amazon Fashion. It's the perfect fit. I went for the size small and it's a really nice kind of boxy oversized fit. Um, if you prefer your shirts to be a bit more fitted, then just go for your usual size. Um, but I did size up once as I just prefer that slightly more relaxed fit. Um, the linen is gorgeous quality too. It's quite a thick linen and I like the fact that it's just got the single pocket detail on one side. Um, now obviously you can style this tucked in to jeans or tailored trousers. Um, you can also style it kind of half tucked at one side um, for a really casual feel. Um, or I also love to wear my linen shirts open over the top of like a basic tank top with shorts or with jeans um, just to kind of cover up your arms and again just give a really relaxed feel. So the next category is basic tops and this is one that I am very passionate about because I just absolutely love a basic. Um, I'm constantly ordering new ones to try out and I thought I would show you a few of my tried and tested favourites. Um, so first of all, I think a basic you definitely need in your wardrobe is a classic tank. Um, I've got two styles here, the first one being a racer back top. Um, I like the ones that cut quite far in at the sides. Um, this one is H&M, but I will be able to find a few to link below because I'm not sure that this one is still available. Um, the fabric of this is very similar to that of the Amazon fashion dresses. And I'd say when it comes to my racer back tops, I prefer that kind of like slinkier, um, finely knit fabric because I just think it can be dressed up a little bit easier. Um, for example, I absolutely love this top with a satin midi skirt. Um, I think the two pair really nicely together and look super chic. Um, and then the second style is a scoop neck top. Um, this one is from Pretty Lavish and I also have it in the cream. Um, but I think this taupey beige shade is really pretty and pairs really nicely with lots of the pieces on the rail. Um, and for me, basics are such an essential. They really do form the kind of like base layer to every outfit and they are such a good layering piece. Um, so for example, I personally prefer to wear um, slightly more relaxed or slightly oversized trouser, um, like maybe a straight leg or something with a bit of a wider leg. Um, and for that kind of outfit, I think a tighter fitting basic is your best bet, um, especially if you are petite, because I just think it keeps you from looking swamped and that way you can layer up. Um, so for example, a white linen shirt open over the top would work so nicely, um, or alternatively, a oversized blazer would work in the same way. 
Um, so yeah, I like to have a lot of basics on hand for my summer outfits. So the next style, which is an absolute go-to for me in summer, and to be honest, all year round, um, is the basic bodysuit. So this one is from Skims, and it is a square neck style. Um, I absolutely love these bodysuits because they come in so many different shades. Um, you can definitely find one that matches your skin tone if you are wanting to wear it as more of like an undergarment. Um, but you can also go for a slightly different tone um, if you are wanting to wear it out as a bodysuit. Um, so yeah, this is a really super slinky, um, very comfortable material. Um, it has a thong bottom with um, like a snap closure and a scoop back. Um, and for me, this is the basic I will go for for a dressier look. Um, it pairs really nicely with tailored trousers, um, with a satin midi skirt, or with like jeans and heels. And then the final top I had to mention is the classic white t-shirt. Um, now I did also include this in my spring capture wardrobe, so I won't go on for too long. Um, but this one is from Arquette and it's one of my favourite styles. Um, it is their heavyweight t-shirt and I don't know if you can see but it is quite a smooth fabric with um, almost a bit of a sheen to it um, which I think gives it a dressier look. Um, so if you work in a slightly more casual office environment then I think this would be perfect. Um, but obviously you can also wear it casually too. Um, I mean, I don't need to tell you how to style a white t-shirt, but it is such a wardrobe essential, so I thought I would briefly mention it. So the next piece I would include in my capsule wardrobe is a loungewear set. Um, now obviously I work from home and these are pretty much what I wear day in, day out. Um, I'd say a loungewear set is probably mostly associated with winter, um, so I wanted to show you one that I think works really well for summer. So this one is from Amazon Fashion, and I mean, this is very much summer inspired. Um, it's definitely not a winter loungewear set at all, um, but you've got this really cute little bralette. It's got adjustable straps, and I just love this shade of cream. It's like the perfect tone, um, not too yellow toned, but not too cool either. Um, and the crochet detail is just so pretty. Um, and then to go with that, you have some wide leg trousers. Um, these have a really thick elasticated waist, um, which really kind of like cinches you in. And then they flow out into a wide leg trouser. Um, both pieces are lined as well, so I think the lining on the trousers, it goes down to around about like your knees, um, which I think is really nice, and it's a super soft material too, um, and then obviously the bralette is lined as well, um, and I just absolutely love this set. Um, I think this could be my favourite thing that I've picked up from Amazon Fashion yet. Um, I think this is an absolute winner. And what I love about a loungewear set is obviously you can wear these two pieces together, but you can definitely wear them separately too. Um, I think these trousers would work so nicely as a bikini cover-up. Um, you could even wear a white linen shirt open over the top. And I think that will be so gorgeous. In fact, I think the full set would be perfect for holiday. You could even wear the set as an airport look um, and you'd be super comfortable for your flight, but also saving a little bit of space in your case because you can definitely wear it once you are there as well. So the next piece I would consider to be a wardrobe essential for summer is a good pair of shorts. Um, the first option I have here is a pair of denim shorts. Um, if you watched my last haul, you will have seen these are a new addition for me, and they are from a Goldie. Um, and they are a very classic style in terms of like their length and then being in this really nice light wash. Um, but where they have a point of difference is that they have an asymmetric button closure on the front and then an asymmetric detail on the back too. Um, and obviously a capsule wardrobe, you're looking for really classic pieces um, that are timeless and you can wear year after year. 
um, but I would still consider these to be a pretty classic piece um, and I think that detail just adds something a little bit more interesting um, and keeps your wardrobe just feeling a little bit more fresh and current um, so I really like these um, styling wise for denim shorts I'd always keep it super casual um, either with a basic tank top a linen shirt um, you could also wear kind of like a bralette or a bikini top on holiday with a shirt um, or another way I like to um, style denim shorts is to layer um, so you could wear a t-shirt or again a basic top with a blazer over the top um, that kind of makes it a little bit more dressy and maybe more appropriate for a day in the city or something like that. Um, but as a general rule of thumb, I keep these pretty casual. And then the second option is a good pair of tailored shorts. Um, I have two options to show you. Um, the first style being a Bermuda short. Um, so these are slightly longer in length. And I just think that gives them a slightly dressier feel. And I think a Bermuda short is just so chic. Um, these ones are linen and they are from H&M. But a few years ago now, um, I will try and find something similar to Link though. Um, but I think a pair of shorts like this... Um, works really nicely with a basic top. Maybe if you went for a cream basic um, and then cinched it in with a tan belt and um, wore tan accessories, um, I think that could be super chic um, as a tonal look. And then if you prefer a slightly shorter short, um, then these and other stories ones are a really good pair. Um, they obviously have their own fabric belt, which is really pretty. Um, and then they've got the turned up hem detail. Um, these also do have a matching top, which I will leave linked because it's a really gorgeous set. Um, but again, you can definitely style these um, separately with your basics. Um, I just style them in the exact same way as I would the Bermuda shorts. And I think a good pair of tailored shorts um, just makes for a really effortless vibe. Um, maybe if you were sightseeing on holiday or just for like a day in the city, I think these are perfect. Um, super lightweight and much more comfortable than the denim pair. Moving on to an item I don't think I could live without in my summer wardrobe and that is a pair of linen trousers. Um, and one thing I love about doing these capsule wardrobe videos is it makes me realise what is missing in my own wardrobe. Um, so obviously I have just shown you two pairs of linen shorts but it's made me think that I could really do with a pair of um, more like tailored shorts in my wardrobe um, because I think that would add a little bit more versatility um, than having like a pair of linen trousers and two pairs of linen shorts, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm on the lookout for a new pair of Bermuda shorts in a slightly more tailored fabric. Um, but back to these trousers and these are fairly new in my wardrobe um, I got them last month from Naked Fashion and I've worn them so much already. These again have a bit of a green undertone to them. Um, they are more of a beige but they definitely have a hint of like a sagey green um, which I think really complements the other tones I have going on on the rail. Um, and they are a high-waisted fit, 100% um, linen, so really lightweight and breathable. And then in terms of the fit, they are like a straight leg, um, very relaxed. I have just rolled up the cuff as they are a little bit long for me. Um, but to be honest, I really like that kind of vibe anyway. Um, Styling-wise with these, again, I just love them paired with a basic top. Um, and I also really love a linen on linen look, um, like with the white shirt tucked in, that is a real go-to for me. Um, I'd probably break it up with a belt and then pair it with some flat um, tan sandals. And then of course I had to include a pair of jeans. Um, obviously in the UK the weather can be very unpredictable in summer, like currently outside it is um, raining, it's very grey, it's dark, it's dull. You wouldn't think we are going to be in July in a few days, um, so jeans are still an essential even in the height of summer. 
Um, so my absolute go-to pair at the minute are my Levi's. Um, these are the 501 crop. Again, I've mentioned these so many times on my channel, um, but I just love them so much. They are the perfect light to denim wash for summer, and I find them really flattering, um, especially being um, five foot two, being quite petite. Um, the length is perfect. Um, I went for the shortest leg length, which is the 26 inch. And yeah, I just think they cut off at a really nice point on my ankle. Um, and they work perfectly with flat sandals. Another piece I included in my spring capsule wardrobe um, that I think would transition perfectly into summer is a midi skirt. Um, I've gone for a satin slip skirt because um, for me, this is just kind of the most reached for style in my wardrobe. Um, I think you can easily dress these up or down. And I also think they work really well as workwear. Um, like for example, you could pair this with the Arquette t-shirt um, with it being that slightly more um, dressed up feel. Um, and you can do the same trick with this as I talked about with the um, slip dress of putting a piece of elastic around your waist and tucking the t-shirt into that. Um, because that way you aren't going to have any bulkiness around the waistband. Um, and then as workwear, I would also pair the look with a blazer um, just to smarten it up a little bit. And I think that's a really chic and elevated look for the office. Um, so this skirt is again from Amazon Fashion and again it is from The Drop. Um, they just seem to have the best staples for summer um, and this one comes in lots of different colours but of course I had to get it in the olive green because I clearly just have an obsession with green at the minute. Um, but I mean, this is such a gorgeous shade. Um, it's a really like rich tone and I think it looks so pretty paired with white. And then the final piece of clothing before we move on to some accessories is the oversized blazer. Um, now for me, this is pretty much the only like outerwear piece that I reach for in the summer. Um, I do think it's handy to have a couple of different blazers um, so you've got a little bit of choice when it comes to pairing tones together. Um, but I do think that this um, beige one, which is from Naked Fashion, um, does go with the vast majority of my wardrobe. I potentially would have gone for a cream blazer, uh, maybe in a linen blend fabric, but I thought with me having quite a few um, linen pieces on the rail, I'd go for something a bit more structured and tailored um, because I like to have a bit of a contrast of fabrics in my outfits. And also with this being a structured fabric, it doesn't crease like linen would. Um, so yeah, I really love it. It is the perfect kind of single breasted boxy fit. And um, again, just a perfect one to throw on over any outfit. Um, it works really well with everything on the rail. And so I really do think a oversized blazer is an essential in your capsule wardrobe. So I feel like I have mentioned tan accessories so many times throughout this video. And um, so I thought it was about time I showed you some. Um, so the first piece is the everyday summer bag. And I have two here to show you. Um, the first one is my beloved Loewe basket bag. Um, I have the square style and the reason for that is that I feel like this to me is more of an everyday summer bag um, than the traditional basket bag style is. Um, I feel like with it being that structured shape, it's just a little bit more dressy, a little bit smarter, and it's just a really nice size for every day. Um, obviously, it doesn't have a closure, so I wouldn't say it is the most practical bag in the world, um, but I can definitely fit in all of my day-to-day -day essentials, and I just absolutely love this natural raffia material for summer. Um, but then as a second option, I have a new addition to my wardrobe, which is this gorgeous bag from Palen. Um, again, I have mentioned Palen a good few times on my channel, but I'm honestly just obsessed with the brand. Um, I feel like they bring out the most classic designs that at the same time are just so unique. Like I love the um, oversized kind of wing detail on this bag. Um, you can also use these two straps inside to kind of cross over and um, change it into a smaller shape. 
Um, and again, I think this bag just lends itself so beautifully to a summer outfit um, with it being that kind of contrast fabric and um, leather. Um, look at the contrast stitching as well. It is just honestly the absolute dream. Um, now this one I think is maybe even more versatile than the previous because I think this could work so nicely as a work bag too. Um, you could also definitely use this as a hand luggage bag and a travel bag. And I do actually think this would work really nicely as a holiday bag too. Um, but if I just show you what I mean about the tones just pairing so nicely together, I just love these kind of like earthy tones at the minute and I think the olive and the tan just pair together so beautifully. In terms of footwear, I'd say 90% of the time in summer you will find me in a pair of flat sandals. I honestly don't wear anything else unless I absolutely have to. I am such a sandals girl, I can't even tell you. Um, but my favourite style is just a classic kind of slip-on um, slider. Um, these ones are very well loved. They are from Mango a couple of years ago, um, but they definitely have some similar ones in this year, so I will leave them linked. Um, and then these ones are new from Amazon Fashion. I also have these in the Raffia um, and they come in Tantu and lots of other colours and they are very much a Saint Laurent dupe. Um, they are super comfortable. I've worn my Raffia ones out so many times and I didn't get any rubbing whatsoever. Um, and they've got this really nice cushioned sole. So yeah, super comfortable. And then for a dressier shoe option, I love a strappy sandal in summer. Um, I personally prefer a lower heel because I find them a little bit more versatile. Um, I feel like you can wear lower heels with um, more smart casual looks like if you were going for a smarter lunch. Um, also, they are more manageable in terms of walking, which is always a plus for me. Um, I love a square toe sandal as well. Um, these ones are old H&M, but I will try and find something to link that is similar. Um, alternatively, I think you could go for a like block heel instead, if you find that even easier to walk in. Um, but yeah, I think a good pair of strappy sandals really is such an essential for those dressier looks and then the final summer accessory that everybody needs is a pair of sunglasses and um, these are definitely my most worn pair and um, they are my Ray-Ban rounds also sorry if you can see the reflection of the ring light there but it is just far too dark today to turn it off so we'll just have to put up with it um, but yeah, I have had these for probably, I want to say around five years now. And every single summer I come back to them. They are such a flattering shape. Honestly, the cost per wear on these must be around like a tenth of a penny by now. Um, this is what they look like on. Um, I feel like these just suit every single face shape. They are such a flattering pair um, and I love the gold rim. But then I did also decide to pick up the, um, I think these are like the hexagonal shape they call them. Um, these are very similar, so they are the green lens as well, um, again with the gold rim, although I would say that the gold on these ones is um, slightly brighter than the um, round pair, um, and this is what they look like on. Um, so I love these two. I'd say they are a slightly bigger frame, um, but again, super flattering and um, just perfect for summer. So those are all the pieces in my summer capsule wardrobe. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Um, hopefully I didn't just repeat everything I said in my spring capsule wardrobe video, um, but obviously I do feel like quite a few of those pieces um, work really well for summer as well. Um, but I have tried to include as many summery staples as possible and obviously I will be showing you how I would style them together um, in conjunction with one another to create lots of different outfits in the cutaways. Um, but thank you so much for watching. As always, everything will be linked down below um, with any alternatives and I will try and include um, different pieces for different price points. Um, but yeah, thank you again and I will hopefully see you in my next video.